YouTube, what's up? We are back at the mansion, of course, and today I'm going to present you a video about the generation 2. So most of the time what I would do is pick the video from my stream and then I would just show it to you with highlights. But uh, today I'm going to try something different. I'm going to try to explain a bit my thought process. And it's not going to be like I beat Gen 2, but how to beat Gen 2. Let's just get into the game and I'm going to explain something for the starters and then just the thought process during the game. So as usual, like the video, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. All right, so let's go into the new game, challenge mode. This is going to be mainly for challenge mode, of course, for Gen 2. The first thing you want to do is try to understand which Pokemon you can use and which Pokemon you cannot use. And I'm just going to take one Pokemon. And now you can see in Gen 1, there is actually some Pokemon that are available. And we have, so we have Zubat, Poliwag, you know, all of those Pokemons because they have an evolution into Generation 2. We have Crobat, we have Politon, Steelix, etc, etc, right? You need to understand all your options and then build a team around what you have available. I would say for Gen 2, you can stay in um, Gen 2. Don't really have to pick anything from Gen 1. Uh, I think we have enough options here to make something that works. And I know it works. So what I did for me is I just want to make like two Pokemons, two main Pokemons that are going to quote unquote sweep. And those are called sweepers. So I'm usually going for Totodile, very strong water type. And we have Tough Claws and Torrent. So it's basically about which egg moves you have available. For me, I have Totodile. Then we have Triple Axel and all those moves that are very, very strong that you can use on Totodile. And since those guys are very low cost, they're very easy to use. So it's always going to be Totodile as a sweeper. And I think the strongest Pokemon in the generation is going to be Marip. So Marip, if you have all the egg moves, is completely insane. You have Tail Glow, a Core Enforcer that used to be Dragon Energy, Parabolic Charge, Ice Beam. And later on, you can, you can learn Cotton Guard and you have a Mega Evolution as well. So Pokemon that have forms are always going to be very strong. So this is my second sweeper, which is actually my first in this video, but I will explain later on. After that, you need to understand that some Pokemons cannot be used. For example, Togepi, Yanma, Gligar, Misdrivus, all those Pokemons that have an evolution in a different generation, you cannot use them. It's the same for Gen 1, right? If you want to go for Onyx, you have to stay in Onyx. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to use the Pokemon. So for me, my strat was Two sweeper, and then we need to take Pokemon that can take care of like threats. So stuff like um, Eternatus for 200 and Rayquaza. Those are the biggest threats of the game. And then when you go for Monogen, you are always going to go against the Elite Four of that specific gen. The Elite the Gen 2 Elite Four. So we have Will, we have Koga, so that's like Psychic, Poison. And we have Bruno and Karen and then Lens. So Lens is a very big problem. I will talk about Lens later on. Now, my response for Equaza was going to be one. We take Marip and we sweep by using Teleglow and Cotton Guard, like we are fishing for a good starter on the like rival side, right? Or we go for Skarmory. So Skarmory was going to be my response for both Requaza and for Eternatus because we have Specky Shield and Roost. And we are a Steel type as well. So we are always going to trigger Eternabim. And we have a Protect, which is, which is Spiky Shield in this case. Then I wanted to have something I can pivot to that's very strong. So it can be Skarmory, but I want to have a Fortress as well, because Fortress can learn Stealth Rock, and Stealth Rock is very good against the AI, because the AI is not very smart. So my second choice was going to be a, like something I can switch to, and that has Stealth Rock eventually, and Protect. So Pineco is a great response as well. After that, you can uh, just go for like dots, right? DOTs, I call them. So those are going to be Salcure, Leech Seed. I'm trying to always have one for phase one, right? You want to go in phase two, to then have all the dots. So for me here, my response was going to be Shuckle and I had Opip as well. So Opip is a very fast Pokemon that can learn Leech Seed and we have Spore as well. So if you have the passive ability, wait, it was, oh, it was changed. It used to be Prankster which was pretty broken, but Prankster Spore is very strong, but that's not the case anymore. So I picked Opip for Lich Seed, and I picked Shuckle for tanking phase 2 uh, the Eternatus, right? So my goal is always to take something very tanky with a dot, preferably, 
then we can put this dot on the on the Eternatus and then we can kill him. So Shuckle with the egg moves. So the old egg moves used to be very, very strong. The old egg moves, I'm gonna show it in the video. We had Cosmic Power, Show Up, and Body Press Salcure. So instead of Heal Order and Stuff Cheeks, we had Show Up and Cosmic Power. Insane. So not, that's not something you can do anymore, sadly, but you can still take the Pokemon to tank uh, a bit because it's a very tanky Pokemon overall. So I would say this team is the one I use to win. So we're going to jump into it. Now, obviously, you can take different stuff. You can have another Sweeper. You can take something like um, like Larvitar, very strong Pokemon, very strong Mega Evolution as well. I tried to play it. I didn't really like it, so I chose to go for some something else. You can go for Mega Undur as well. So all those Pokemon that have a form are going to be very strong overall, of course. I tried Heracross as well, but I wasn't really a fan of it. Like the multi-hit moves, you need to have the Mega Evolution for this thing to be extremely broken. I just wanted to go for Marip, it was a very strong solution. So let's jump into the game and I'm going to show you how this works. Okay, so the first thing you want to pay attention to is going to be the rival fight at level 8 or floor 8. You want to fish for a fight that's going to be very in your favor. So you don't want to go for a fire type, for example, or you don't want to go for a, you know, something you can, like the rival is going to stay in. Like most of the time, a, a grass type is going to be very strong. In my case, it was going to be Chespin for the rival fight. So this was a very, very cool Pokemon to stay in. It can be Venusaur, it can be Trico. All those Pokemon that are basically not extremely strong, but you would prefer to go for a physical type because you can spam Cotton Guard later on. I will show you the strat. You can do Cotton Guard and with like a leftover or some co like a couple of citrus berries, you can just stay in the fight. Plus six, plus six defense, plus six special attack or mainly plus six defense to be fair. And if you have some other moves like like Tail Glow or something else, of course, you're not going to have the same move as me. But you get the idea, right? You need to find a Pokemon that can set up and that's going to stay in the fight as well. So for me here, Chespin was a great choice. So I'm going to skip over most of the fights. I want to just show you the key that you want to go for. For the team, I like to build full teams, like five Pokemons or six Pokemons. I don't want to capture anything in the wild. But if you, what you can do, you can always like not pick a Pokemon at the starter zone or the starter, you know, the starter menu. And then you can go and look for that specific Pokemon in the wild. Just go on the Pokedex, you go and you try to find uh, where that Pokemon is, and then you can capture it and use it in a battle. So if you want to use Crobat, for example, instead of having it at the beginning, you can just go like in a cave or something and then capture him and evolve him into Crobat. And then you can use him in your team. So there is always that possibility of building a team and then having to look for those Pokemon in the wild and then adding them to your team. In my specific case here, for most of my teams, it's not going to be an issue because like my teams are going to be very low cost. I don't use any legendaries and I use no retries. So there is that. So I'm going to like go to the biggest fight which is 145. This is the first Rayquaza fight. So when it comes to like gym leaders and uh, you know small trainers at like 95, 40, 55, the small rival fight, the first 100 floors, those are always going to be very easy if you know what you're doing, of course, and you have some egg moves. So let's jump to the first roadblock, which is basically 145. As I said, the gym leader, you can manipulate how you're going to fight them. So it's not really an issue most of the time, especially if you have a Pokemon that can set up and that can regen as well. Like that's the case for Marip. Okay, so as you can see on the video, I have a, a Mega Ampharos at 144, 143. And what I'm trying to do when it comes to the, the AI, I don't want to force him to switch into something that's like strong against me. For example, when you use Mega Ampharos most of the time, he, the, like the rival likes to switch into Rayquaza, which is an issue because you know you are dragon. You actually gain the dragon type when you mega evolve. So what I'm gonna do in this case, since I know I can set up and then sweep, I'm gonna remove my mega evolution to lose my dragon type. Then I'm gonna go on the chest spin, so the evolution of chest spin. So in this in this case, it's chest not. I'm just gonna 
stay on this guy specifically. I'm gonna use a couple of citrus berries and then I'm just gonna spam Cotton Guard and Tail Glow until I'm plus six plus six. Of course, you can do this on the different Pokemon. It can be Quiver Dance. It can be really anything. And then I'm just gonna sweep. So that's just the play here. There is nothing, nothing to say. I'm gonna show you the full fight. And as you can see, it's basically setting up and then sweeping. It's always gonna be the, the case if you have a Pokemon that can... So the AI doesn't switch into your weakness, right? That's the case with Ampharos because I removed the Mega form. And then you have the, so no switch and basically that's a sweep because we have an healing ability. All right, so for the Elite Four, it is actually very easy to understand which one is going to be an issue for you. It's Pokemon that are ground types or dragon types or stuff like this overall. And in the case of Will, there is actually a big problem. There is a Pokemon called Executor. So <laughs> Executor is a special attacker, which is an issue for us because we cannot use Cotton Guard because that's a defense. So we, in my case here, of course, it can be different for you if you build a different team. But in this, uh, in this case here, we, he has two Executor. Executor has something called, uh, so he has egg moves, right? So he has apple something, it's uh, like grass ability. And he has fecal beam, something strong against my two, uh, my two sweeper, my water type and my dragon type. Uh, so my goal for the for building the executor is very simple. I wanted to bring Skarmory out on something like executor. Then he's gonna switch into the Slowking because Slowking has flamethrower. And then I was gonna switch onto Feraligator, Feraligator, sorry. And I was gonna use Dragon Dance once. This case, in, a, in this specific case, because executor is very slow, I could Dragon Dance once and then sweep the whole team with Crunch on Feraligator. So it's a good, a good thing to have here. Very, very strong Pokemon. Uh, the problem is obviously if he has some kind of Reviver Seed, but it wasn't the case in this specific battle. After that, the second battle, the third battle, and the fourth one, all of those can be done by simply setting up on your main Pokemon. So I did it on my Mega Pharos here. I was able to use uh, my, my move. And then I was able to just sweep with, so take the ones and then sweep with the full team for all, all of them. This was absolutely no, no issue for Koga and for Karen and for Bruno. No issue because they are fighting type, uh, poison type and dark type. So absolutely no issue. Okay, Ariados. Ah, oh, don't I create, okay. Okay, Weezing. This guy probably has something against me. Oh, right, took that to you. You're right, actually. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't have the same team at all. Okay, never mind. I saw Executor slow bro that too, so I was like, okay, maybe they have the same team, but it's close to the same team, I guess, right? Like, he has Venomoth and he has... Uh, I mean, he has one Venom of probably a Crobat as well. Yeah. Reflex. Yeah. Okay, so next one is Bruno. Fighting type. Alright. Yeah. What do you have for me? Razor Leaf. That's not gonna help you, bro. Sorry. I guess I can just plus six if he has nothing. GG. Nice. Uh, next one is the dark type, right? All right, Karen. What do you have for me? Spirit break. Oh boy.
Hey, I mean, the egg moves on Ampharos are just making this Pokemon like it's not not. Did they actually change the Pokemon, by the way? Does it still have the same uh, egg moves or not? They didn't change him. Still has Teleglow, still has Parabolic Charge and Ice Beam. Or any of those. The big issue is actually 190, which is Lens. So Lens is a Dragon type user and he has some pretty strong Pokemon. In this case, he has an Executor. But this is where Ampharos is gonna be actually okay because Executor, the form that he has, and my Mega Ampharos are actually the exact same speed. So they have 45 base speed, but I have perfect IVs and I have a Carbon as well. So the Carbos, you know, the, the thing that gives speed. So in this case, I was gonna outspeed him just a tiny bit and, in this, and I was able to clear him, right? And after that, it's basically a sweep of most of the Pokemon that he has except for the biggest one, which is Latios. So Latios, obviously, is um, Terra into Psychic, and he has an ability called Dragon Energy. So the higher the health, the more damage he does, and I'm a Dragon type, so I was gonna die anyways. Um, and so my goal was to switch onto Shuckle and use all the moves. So as you can see on the screen, we have Cosmic Power, Shore Up, Salcure, Body Press, very strong setup if you can set up with cosmic power and then spam shore up in between and you know body press and sweep everything that was my strat even against kingdra sadly the the kingdra got a crit so it was one shotted then my goal after that was just to sweep on fairy legator because i have crunch and ice fang so that was no issue for most of those pokemon and since i'm faster than latios with the dragon dance i was able to crunch lower him to very low health and Dragon Energy deal no damage. So in this case, it was very easy just because of how the AI works and we were able to kill Executor, which was the biggest threat. And of course, Latios is not an issue if you are faster because he's going to use Dragon Energy most of the time. If he was going to use Psychic or something different here or the, the signature move, whatever the name is, uh, I was going to be in a big trouble. For 195, this is basically the exact same process as 145. This is the same, exact same thing. You are gonna remove your Mega Evolution. You are going to set up with Teleglow and Cotton Guard. Of course, for you, it's gonna be a different setup, a different goal, right? I can't really tell you all the different possibilities. I can just tell you how I did it and then explain to you my thought process, etc., etc. You can do something very similar, okay? So 195, I'm going to show you the full fight right now. It was a sweep for most of it. Only issue. So hopefully she missed Hurricanes. If she misses Hurricanes, it's over. I miss Hurricane, bro. Oh, trade is fine, actually. Nice. GG. Now, for 200, which is Eternatus, we have a different strat. The strat for Eternatus, as I said at the beginning, is to have a Steel type with a Protect and then attack in between moves because he has to recharge between Eterna Beams. So I use Paki Shield and then I used my, uh, my attack, my Steel Wing, and then I was able to bring him to phase two without any issue because he lost all uh, the Eterna Beam and when he lost all of them, there is no issue. Of course, if he sets up with Cosmic Power or Dragon Dance or whatever, it doesn't matter because those changes go away in between phases. So if he set up in phase one, he's not going to have all those uh, pluses in, in phase two. He's going to lose all of them. So the setup in phase one, they literally don't matter. So the, the setup in phase two was, as I, was, as I said, Shuckle and um, Jump Luff for Leech Seed and Salcure. And then you basically tank all the moves on Shuckle. You spam Cosmic Power and Shore Up, which you can't do anymore. You can probably find a different Pokemon. Or you can use Shuckle to tank a couple of hits if you have any setups or any heals. That's something you can do. Or you can find a different Pokemon altogether. Or what you can do is just put those moves on the on Eternatus. And then you can switch to your Fortress and um, Skarmory and then spam Protect on both of them. It can be a thing as well, of course. 
But in this case, I was able to put my two dots on Eternal Truth and then just tank everything with Shuckle and deal damage with Ferrilicator. And that was basically it. So again, what you can do here, this is just a how to beat Gen 2, like the different Pokemon you can use and what you cannot use. I would say try to focus on a small team and try to have an answer against every single threat in the game. Try to fish for a good rival fight. Try to look for good gym leaders for you with the map. You need to go into new good biomes for your team. So for, Elite, for my Marip, for example, I went most of the time into the lake or the seabed or stuff like this. Not in the cave or in the mountain or those very annoying biomes for Marip. I try to stay in the water biome or the po or poison or stuff like this, right? I try to stay on good things for me and then set up, sweep, move on. That's always going to be the same thing for classic if you can find a combo that does it. Okay, well, that's going to be it for me. If you beat Gen 2, try to tell me how. Try to let me know in the comments and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.